Hey everyone, this is Our Epic Journey. My name is Gabriel. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about the differences between Epic Analyst and a Health Data Analyst. Uh, also, what similarities do they have and which one's right for you. Uh, so let's get started with this. First, let's talk about what an Epic Analyst does. An Epic Analyst is a health information technology professional that specializes in one software, which is Epic. Epic is an EHR company based out in Verona, Wisconsin, um, that specializes in anything related to patient care, honestly. Um, so that so Epic touches billing, it touches clinical documentation, it touches imaging, it touches uh, pathology, it touches uh, claims. Honestly, Epic is the heart of the hospital, if you think about it. <laughs> everything touches Epic, uh, almost everything. In order to become an Epic analyst, you need to get certified uh, in specific modules. There is, there are, each module has a, a unique name. Beacon will be for oncology, Radiant will be for radiology, uh, Cupid is for cardiology, etc. Uh, so you can only work as an Epic analyst if you have a certification. So you, so a health system will have to sponsor you, to send you out to Verona. You get your training done. Usually it's about a week. You take an, uh, a test at the end, and if you pass, then you get certified. Now let's talk about what a health data analyst does. A health data analyst doesn't specialize in just one software. So a health data analyst can work with multiple sources of data, uh, which can come from EHR. Uh, outside claims data, uh, wearable devices. Uh, you can also work with uh, genomic data, um, but that's more for bioinformatics. But you know they are they do work with uh, that kind of data also. Uh, you do not need to have a certification to be a health data analyst, and your job mainly mainly focuses on collecting, uh, analyzing, uh, cleaning, and visualizing data uh, to solve real healthcare problems. So in in, th in those jobs. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, in those kind of jobs, there's a lot of digging through, you know, dirty data, creating insights and sharing it to, you know, key stakeholders uh, in order to make decisions that would affect the whole organization. Uh, to do that, sometimes you do need some statistical knowledge. Uh, not sometimes, but you do need some statistical knowledge. Uh, you need to have some uh, programming experience, right? Doing coding in Python and using... Uh, uh, using some packages such as pandas, not packages, and using some libraries such as pandas, uh, matplotlib to do some visualizations, things like that. So you do need to know a little bit of coding if you want to become a health data analyst. And eventually, as a health data analyst, you can transfer your skills and become a health data scientist. Uh, ultimately, that is where I want to go. Um, I want to first get, get my epic experience and also focus on some health data analysis uh, skills. You know, you're utilizing SQL, Python, those are some programming languages that you need to know. I don't know if you consider SQL programming, but yeah, you probably do. Okay, that, and then you can transfer those skills and then, and, uh, well, I would want to transfer my skills that I have and then become a health data scientist. So a little summary of what the differences are. So in scope, a Epic analyst focuses on just one software. So technically, you know, it should be easier to learn since you're only learning one software. Uh, in contrast to uh, a health data analyst, you have to learn uh, many different platforms. And I think that's a positive as well because you're not just stuck to one uh, platform uh, and you can utilize coding to your advantage. Coding is very important in the sense that you are not bound to what the software is limiting you to do, right? For example, Epic, you, there's some software limitations that you have to wait for software, you have to wait for software upgrades, you know, every couple months in order to get the newest and latest thing. As a health data analyst, you could work with programmers uh, and develop, develop new tools, you know, without anyone's permission. Uh, and Python is an open source uh, programming language and anyone can learn it honestly there's lots of free tutorials online and I think it's very important for people to learn it if if you're working with data special skills as an epic analyst you have to have technical skills and troubleshooting you know epic related stuff and as a health data analyst you need to have skills in data analytics and data science certifications so uh, like I mentioned as a for to be an epic analyst you do need to be certified so there's a barrier of entry there to be a health data analyst you do not need to be certified although there are some certifications out there like, like the Certified Health Data Analyst, CDHA, that was offered by HEMA, uh, that you can take, um, and, or the Certified Analytics Professional, uh, which is not you know, specific to health care data, but it's very really helpful if you're, if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for your first job as a, as a health data analyst. Uh, there is a YouTube channel online that you know, speci uh, specifically focuses on health data and analytics. So I'm going to attach a channel here. Uh, I've watched a couple of videos that are great. So if you want to learn more about health data, data analytics, uh, please subscribe to them and uh, watch these videos. Salary. Uh, so for an Epic analyst, salaries are tend to be higher since there's a barrier to get into to be certified. 
So once you're certified, your salary can range between 70,000 to 120,000, uh, but it can be much higher if you become a consultant. For a health data analytics uh, professional, uh, your salary can start from uh, 60,000 to maybe 100,000. Uh, they get paid a little less, but uh, there is much more room for growth as a health data analyst because you can go from a health data analyst to a health data scientist, right? So it's a, it's a level higher than an analyst, what an analyst does. Hmm. It's a level higher than what an analyst does, and they are highly in demand currently. There are companies such as Netflix, uh, Google, Facebook that pay data scientists over two hundred thousand uh, dollars for their skills. Uh, in the healthcare world, you know we're not at that level yet, but there are companies such as the Mayo Clinic that are paying uh, health data analysts um, more than one hundred fifty thousand dollars. If, if your goal is to become a health data scientist, and I would choose the health data analytics role um, over the Epic one, since there is more room for growth on that. But if you, you know, if you have trouble learning multiple applications or if you have trouble programming, say I will stick with uh, being an Epic analyst because you don't need to code for to be an Epic analyst. Uh, everything is it's, uh, um, everything is on the graphical user interface. You know, there's lots of help. In most of the sense, if you work for the top uh, healthcare companies, there are people from Epic themselves that help your healthcare organization with problems. So if you don't know something, they'll be there to to walk you through how you use Epic uh, to fix that specific problem. As a health data analyst, there is less resources like that that can hold your hand, uh, but there are more resources uh, which are, you know, for every for the whole public to see. So it's easier for people to learn in a sense in, in terms of uh, how much data is available publicly. For Epic, you can only have access to you know that data if you work uh, for Epic or if you work for a healthcare organization that um, only uses Epic, then you would have access to their data. Um, that's the issue with that. Hope this helps. Uh, to make your decision, um, please feel free to leave more comments, questions. I try to answer them as fast as I can. I'm still in school. I'm currently on my last uh, semester. I think I mentioned that last time. Uh, of my health informatics uh, master's degree. And currently, I will be doing more of a health data analytics role uh, uh, for my practicum, which is a, a final project that I have to do for my master's degree. So, so I will be getting the experience of, a, of an epic analyst and a health data analyst. and I, I want to combine these two skills and eventually become a uh, health data scientist, like I mentioned. So if that's your goal, uh, I, I will continue to post my journey to become a health data scientist. Yeah, so thank you guys again for watching my video. Sorry for not posting um, you know, so frequently. Um, hopefully, uh, after two months from now, which is when my practicum is over, I will be posting videos weekly again like I used to. Uh, thank you guys for sticking through, and hopefully this helped make your decision.